I hope you are doing good during COVID and it's another quarantine here in Jakarta. So we're going to talk about why it's nice to live in New York. <laughs> um, so let's start and I'm going to go ahead and introduce our panelists. Basically, today we're going to talk and discuss about NYU and why you should choose to go to NYU in comparison to other universities. Um, and we have a couple of alumni joining us today. Um, I and mean, I'm gonna speak your name and if you can say hello and explain a little bit about yourself. Um, first and foremost, we have James Quiriadi, who is the co-founder and the CEO of Crowddana. So hi, thanks uh, Audria. Uh, my name is James. I graduated uh, NYU in 2017. I did uh, real estate. I did. I graduated a master program in real estate, so I really liked it there. And now I'm running running an equity crowdfunding platform, Crowdana. That's so interesting. We also have um, Rosi Setionugroho, who is the head product at Prixa um, from Wagner. If you can say hi. Hi everyone. Thank you, Audria. Uh, I went to NYU Wagner uh, a couple of years back. I graduated 2019 uh, in health services management and now I'm doing a uh, product management in an in a seed stage uh, health tech startup in Indonesia. So cool. Um, we have Neil Giuliarso, who is a jazz pianist and educator from Steinhardt. Hello everyone. Um, yeah, I did the, uh, my uh, master's there, uh, finished in 2018. Um, I was already living in New York before that, uh, playing and teaching. Uh, I had, I used my, my O1 visa and then I found out about the, uh, uh, well, the scholarship program uh, from the Indonesian government. And then I uh, applied to, the, to NYU and I got in, so I did. Uh, I did more school after that. That's cool. Thank you for that. Um, we also have Judy Lee, who is the CEO and co-founder co of Dragonfly. She's also the president of our alumni club in Indonesia. Hi, hey, Audrey. This is Judy. Thanks so much for. Uh, arranging all of this. I'm really excited to meet everyone. I'm a New Yorker. I went to NYU and my family is uh, kind of nine people of my family have gone through NYU, so we're truly a NYU family. I went to undergraduate in Stern um, with a finance and international business degree um, back more than 30 years ago. I also sit on the board of Stern School, so I'm really happy to answer any questions about Stern as well as NYU. Thank you, Judy. And last but not least, we have Brendan Setiawan, who is an associate at PwC for Deal Advisory Team. Yeah, hi everyone. Uh, I'm Brandon, and if I'm not wrong, I might be the, the youngest out of uh, the, all the panelists uh, today. Uh, so I recently graduated uh, this past May, May 2020, um, and majored in finance, uh, same as Judy, I studied at NYU Stern School of Business. Um, and so really I'm just, you know, starting off my career uh, at PwC. Um, and, you know, I have plans of uh, going to Beijing in the next year to pursue my MBA. Um, and so, you know, for now, hopefully uh, we'll be able to kind of share a bit about NYU, why we cherish uh, the school so much and hopefully inspire some of you to, you know, to as we did and then. Perfect. Thank you so much, Brendan. And thank you so much, everyone, for the kind introduction. And I would just say a little bit something about myself. I'm also an NYU alumni. I graduated back in 2015 from School of Professional Studies. Um, I had to say NYU was one of the most favorite thing that I did. Um, and I got to do it not just in New York, but I went to uh, Paris as well. So it was so great. Um, so let's start this presentation and let's start this discussion. Um, a slight vision and mission of NYU. I'm pretty sure everybody knows about this, but NYU has been a top school for 
a long, a really long time. So I think it's definitely good if you're thinking to go to university in the States. And if you're thinking, I mean, I feel like if you're from Jakarta um, and you're so used to the metropolitan lifestyle and you kind of, you know, um, it's very different in the States how like some universities have a feel of like the college feel. Um, NYU doesn't really have that, but we can talk about more about it in this um, slideshow, the next upcoming slideshow, but it is kind of like the metropolitan lifestyle that we have here in Jakarta. Um, so dorms, uh, who here have want to share their experience in NYU dorms? Anyone? Okay, I'll start. Um, I actually, I went to three different dorms, I think. In freshman year, I was in Weinstein, then I was in a couple, a couple of different dorms, but I got, I got the dorm that was a room by myself. Because, I don't know, I was kind of anxious with living with other people, especially me being a foreigner, I didn't know how the American culture was. I don't know if I would fit in with those people. So I decided to not get a roommate and just stayed by myself. I don't know. Does anybody want to share their experience? Yeah, I mean, I think because uh, I, I just graduated. So maybe uh, I'm a bit familiar with the dorms. So I also dormed my first year. Um, and I mean, it was definitely an experience. I think dorming first year is a good choice because uh, you know you're going to New York City uh, it's such a tough city uh, it's a fun city but it takes time to get used to so it's really good to have a stable dorm uh, you know roommates that you can trust um, and, and you know they all they have security they a lot of these places have dining halls within the dorms so you know you don't really have to worry about food especially the first you know at least six months when you're getting used to it and from Asia, we're all from Indonesia, and we're not used to maybe living in uh, dorms, you know, maybe uh, in high school, or middle school, uh, you know, we're mainly coming from home, but dorms is definitely a big part of college, and so NYU has really good dorms, uh, and so I think um, it's, it, it's a good opportunity to try it out, you know, it's only for one year, hopefully. <laughs> well, this is Judy, I just want to share something, when I went to NYU, I actually am a Brooklyn born and bred girls. So we were very much a commuter um, family. Um, I actually, and my sister, and it was just really close. But what's amazing is over the years, NYU has really expanded the community by putting a lot of dorms. And not just that, but community centers, you know, student life. So when you're in New York, you actually get the best of you are getting a really amazing community, the dorm life, uh, but you're also getting a chance for the first time of living in New York City, which I think is really amazing because you're taking part of everything and that dynamic around you. So I don't think of it as a dorm life the way you would traditionally think of it as like a, um, a rural kind of a campus university life where you're in like a small town. Uh, you're in the one of the biggest, you know, most dynamic cities in the world. And on top of that, you're getting a huge community when you're plugging into the dorm and, and community around here, which is one of the largest schools with the largest international population. So I think it's really exciting. Yes, thank you, Judy, for sharing. My internet is a bit off. Judy, oh, thank you for sharing. Sorry, my internet is a bit lagging. Pardon me. Does anybody want to share again about their dorm experience? Well, I, I, I didn't. I didn't live in I the dorm. Like I, Judy said, it is. Pardon? But uh, I did. Yeah. Uh, I didn't live in the dorms, or, uh, but I, I did eat uh, at uh, uh, those dining uh, halls quite often, and I, I thought the food food was was good. Uh, I think it, at uh, Weinstein, I, I had many many meals there. Yeah. Also at uh, at uh, Kimmel, Kimmel Center on the third floor, there there's a cafeteria there. I I would yeah. go there. 
Yeah, yeah, I always appreciated the fact that I used to live in Weinstein. And for those of you who is thinking to go to NYU, Weinstein is the dorm that is dead smack in the middle of Washington Square. So just think about this. If you have an early morning class, you literally rolled out of bed and get to your campus in like five minutes top. So it's kind of amazing to live in Weinstein. Um, but yeah, I mean, all, all of the different dorms have its perks, have its benefits too. Um, but yeah, I had, good, I had a good time in the dorms. It was good. It was not like the other dorms that we used to because it's kind of like your tiny little apartment in the center of New York, which is kind of amazing. Um, so let's move on. I think one of the things that, um, Audrey, it's interesting because I'm meeting some of these panelists for the first time. Um, if they could share like two senses of, you know, especially for the people who graduate more recently than I did, um, why you chose NYU? You know, I'm, I'm sure when you look at different schools at this point, you know, um, you have a lot of options, right? Um, even though NYU is a top-notch school, amazing programs and so on. I'm just curious as if you go back uh, reverse chronologically how you guys made the decision just to get to know you and then maybe some of the um, people that are participating and you can look at the participants that are joining may ask questions about how you made your choices as well. Brandon I think you, you said you were the youngest right in this pro in this uh, panel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So if you could share with us when you were going through your decision making, oh. why you yeah. were thinking of NYU and, you know, obviously you are also a Sterny like me, but, you know, what made you, you know, consider this and then also decide finally that this is the school? Uh, sure, sure. Sorry, there was a bit of life, so I didn't hear the first part. Anyways, um, I think for me, the decision was, uh, it was definitely challenging. So, you know, if I can say, a bit about how uh, maybe some of our Indonesian friends uh, view university in the U.S. You know, a, a lot of people you know, are very uh, excited about going to traditional places like L.A., Boston, uh, Seattle, where there are a lot of, there's a, definitely an Indonesian community, a lot of good schools. So New York was definitely uh, an, an outsider option, an outsider choice uh, during, during that time when I was applying. Um, but I think you know, after doing a little bit of more research, uh, NYU is definitely, I would call it a sleeping giant. So what I mean by this is that um, a good example was when I was visiting LA and I was visiting New York, uh, a lot of things, a lot of the developments, you know, it wasn't, it, it, aren't, it isn't that different from what you see from 20 years ago. Uh, whereas in New York, you know, you see all these new developments, uh, you know, they have a lot of traditional places and historical sites, but also a lot of new developments, a lot of new buildings, a lot of new projects going on. And so what that shows me is that I think uh, New York is definitely a place where uh, it's very up to date and where a lot of uh, bright minds, I would say, gather. Um, and so I, I definitely think that you know, it's definitely up there with SF as a location or a hub for where people from all different, with all different interests go. So, uh, you know, from arts, uh, there, there's Broadway. We all know all, all the actors that come from NYU, but also uh, not a lot of people know, but there's a lot of tech startups in New York right now. A lot of VC, uh, a lot of VC firms uh, are, are, you know, setting up, you know, a shop there. And so um, I, I would say that, um, to those of you who are still thinking about you know, whether which you know which city and which school, NYU gives you a very uh, holistic experience. It gives you everything that you you want to look for um, based on your own interests. So so that was what really pulled me in. Yeah. Great, thank you. Does anyone want to share why they chose NYU? And then we'll get back to you, Audrey. I never asked you that question too. <laughs> Okay, I think piggybacking from what Brandon said, uh, when I uh, did my program at uh, Wagner, it was a little bit of a mix that uh, I got into like several schools, but 
I explained to them that I'm a little bit unusual from the typical person who goes to health services management program because I'm a pharmacist. I don't want to be a pharmacist. I want to be more of a generalist. And uh, I also have a huge interest in tech and New York kind of like uh, that melting pot that I'm looking for, right? It's like a, a mix of a good school, a good uh, tech scene, and there's a lot of opportunities there. So I was thinking that, uh, can I do this? And I did a consultation with the faculties. They're really open to help me kind of carve my own path to like, uh, what are the things that I want to learn and join? How can I make it happen? How to cross register and a lot of those things that I didn't get from other schools. So it was definitely one of the main things that drives me into choosing NYU as my uh, place to do my master's degree. So it was a little bit interesting. And also like personally, I'm a person who cannot drive and living in the United States, if you're gonna drive, it's kind of a little bit tricky, but in New York, it's kind of okay because you can get anywhere with the transport system. The subway is like 24 seven. There's, I live in Queens and I commute every day. There's no problem commuting at all. So it's like that place where it's like a huge uh, city, but at the same time, you will have no problem getting from one point to another. Even getting to like three, four boroughs in one day is not something that's impossible in New York. So that's the kind of possibility that New York kind of uh, provide and NYU is kind of integrated also in the city. It's to me, it's a little bit weird because it's a campus, but like without the like gated campus uh, traditional experience, I was like, uh, how can this happen in America? But then when I was um, starting, I started to understand why this is uh, something that is different, but also an advantage for you to explore the city itself. So yeah. Thank you. Okay. Niall, do you want to share why NYU? I think you touched a little bit upon, but it's just, there are other choices in terms of art as well, right? So what was it about New York? Please unmute. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. So I, um, I went to Juilliard before that, and then I, I was uh, pl playing and, and teaching I, w I wasn't really uh, planning on, on going back to school, but um, then, uh, yeah, I found out about, about the, the scholarship that the Indonesian government was having. And then uh, I thought, uh, uh, at, at, I mean, at the time, you, you could only uh, apply to, to what, what, what they have on the list. Uh, uh, Juilliard was not on the, on the list. Uh, so at the time, I didn't know much about uh, the, the school's program, uh, but, uh, but NYU was, was on the list. But as I was uh, researching it, um, well, I, um, I guess I, 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 I would have uh, gone there, you know, uh, either, either way if uh, whoever's teaching there. But uh, I really enjoyed my, my time there. What, what's unique? Uh, at least for my program is they have this uh, thing where you uh, they give you an option to if you want to teach um, uh, the undergrads uh, who, who want to take uh, piano lessons and uh, I think NYU is the only school uh, that does that uh, so as, as an elective they can take a piano lesson and um, they'll, they'll pay you for that uh, so uh, that, that helped uh, that helped help too and and um, yeah, I was already familiar with 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 New York City, so uh, it's uh, just like um, doing the same. Uh, I have I have my routines, but instead of uh, playing, I I was in school for for those two years and and uh, and got to get to teach uh, uh, the undergrads too, and um, uh, yeah, something like that great that you had experience teaching because you're teaching now part partly as well so that's good exposure um james did you want to share uh yeah sure i think uh why i chose nyu i want i did the program a uh, real estate program concentration in finance there was not much master's program that offered that so nyu was one of those schools the other schools that was offered was that, that offered it was basically um, NYU, Columbia, and Cornell. 
So I chose NYU because of the proximity to the city. Like probably this is something that uh, that Brandon would share as well. So being in NYU gives you a lot of opportunities. So being in New York City when I did real estate, there's a lot of my professors were like industry professionals. So I guess the proximity to like Wall Street, basically um, real estate finance banking firms, the opportunities are a lot. So basically that's why I chose NYU. And during undergrad, I visit my sister. So she uh, went to school in Columbia. During that time, I really loved the city. The food's really great. So I'm like, all right, what could go wrong? Okay, that's great. Adria? Yeah, for me, um, first and foremost, it has to be the program that I was in. I, was, I actually took hotel and tourism management. I was so intru, uh, into hospitality ever since I was in middle school. So I knew which major I was going to take when it comes to university. But when I was looking through all the schools and all the universities and everybody always keep on telling me that hospitality is really good in Switzerland. But when I tried looking actually at the curriculum and the program in itself, um, I felt like NYU was actually the only um, university that offers the kind of program that you are able to do um, hospitality but at the same time learn a lot about the management aspect of it and the ownership aspect of it so I thought it was great because I always knew I wanted to have my own hotel or have my own uh, something in the F&B industry um, so it was great for me to go to the program and definitely being in NYU I got to intern at a lot of good, really respectable um, hotels. So with that, obviously I got a glowing recommendation that allowed me to have a really good job once I graduated. So it was easy for me to choose NYU because I felt like for the program that I was in, um, definitely NYU is one of the best. Great, thanks. And then for myself, um, I knew that when I was um, in high school, I was very interested in economics. And during the days I was focusing on, okay, how could I apply that in a more practical area? So I immediately wanted to go for finance and international business because I was very taking up with like globalization. And so when I looked around to programs at the undergraduate level, they're actually amazingly very few that are top notch programs like this. So NYU's faculty in finance, I would consider as like the top number one in the world and particularly to get access to that as an undergraduate is phenomenal. Um, and I was really lucky as an undergraduate to actually have Demodoran in valuation, who is uh, really world renowned in this area in finance and valuation. So I was so lucky. Um, so absolutely, I agree with Audrea. So the faculty, the program, the intensity of that was really what drew me to NYU. And then during both sophomore and junior years, I had started my internships. So being in New York, I thought it's gonna be amazingly practical and I could apply what I'm learning and just be in the city and just in between classes or on Fridays, I actually had internships. And I remember my junior year, I had three internships in one year and I don't think in any other school I would have been able to do that. Um, and it's not just me. Like if I would go to classes half the time, in those days, people were wearing business suits or people were more dressy, especially New York is a more dressy town, especially in the winter time. People were coming in with suits, with professional wear because everyone had you know, a way to go. They were basically saying, I'm going to class, then I'm going to do an internship or I'm going to do a startup or I'm going to do this and do that. Everyone was moving. Everyone was dynamic. So uh, you can do what you want. You could actually find opportunities to do all sorts of things. So I spent a lot of my... Um, academic life off campus in that sense, because I was doing internships, I was looking about what opportunities were there, and I was really motivated to talk to people, to listen to people, and New York is a place I also knew that it doesn't matter if they were actually senior um, CEOs or, or industry practitioners that they were in New York, or even people that were outside would love to come to New York, and we were constantly being exposed to guest lecturers, um, very senior people in industry, very senior people, um, government and related. So I felt that you can really touch upon everything. I think though for myself, I would have loved to in hindsight spend more time across the other schools in the university, right? I think I, for myself, there was so much going on in terms of my internships as well as my academic life at Stern. 
I spent so much time at Stern. I would have probably loved to go take a piano lesson now, now that I know that you taught piano. I wish I'd done something like that or singing lessons or something. But I did take a really amazing class in, in physics that was the music of physics. So it was very, or the physics of music. So you talk about like a resonance and wave theory. It was really cool. So that was like a, not stern, but very much amazing fun. Okay, so Audrey, I'll turn it back to you. And then do you want to open up to some of the people that may be guests, if they want to share some of their thoughts, if they want to open up? Yeah, sure. Um, give me a second. I'm sorry, guys. My internet is a bit laggy, but okay. I don't know how to do this now. Oops. Can everyone still see? Yep, it's loading, but I can see your screen. Okay. Okay, it's on now. Okay, yeah, so NYU, I mean, we have really get great facilities at NYU. Really great bookstore, really great. We also have really huge gym. I remember going to the gym and then they have an indoor climbing, which is great. Does anybody want to talk about the facilities or share their thoughts? Yeah, I mean, on the topic of gyms, uh, 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 Ash Nelson, who's also here. Um, and so uh, I believe NYU is actually opening their new gym, you know, in 2021 or 2022, if I'm not wrong. And it's going to be you know, really big, state of the art, you know, indoor basketball courts. I'm not sure if there's tennis courts, I'm, maybe, but you can imagine, right? Like uh, you can imagine the scale and also kind of uh, the investment needed to open those type of big gyms in New York in the middle of the city. And so um, really, I think that's what NYU is all about. Uh, if you look at all their facilities, uh, you kind of question yourself and you kind of uh, start to realize, you know, uh, what you're a part of. Because all of this is like, they're not doing this in the suburbs, you know, somewhere up in the mountains. They're doing this in the middle of New York City. So, um, one of the best experiences I've ever had is, you know, okay, uh, uh, you know, obviously in university, there's, you have a lot of homework, you have a lot of projects you have to do, uh, you have to pull up, you have to pull some all-nighters sometimes, but it really helps that you're working in, you know, a library like Bob's on the left uh, of the slide, uh, and you can kind of, you know, get a bit of inspiration for a few seconds, and then you go back to sadly doing your, <laughs> doing your work at like 2 a.m. in the morning, but I mean, um, And I definitely have some of the best facilities in the city. Uh, yeah, I mean, in, in the country, I, I think. Maybe when you're on the topic of gyms, you should, man you should also mention that gym membership comes at a premium in New York. Oh, yeah, so, so if, if, if you go to NYU, free. it's free. Yeah, yeah. NYU gym is free. All, all the other gyms probably yeah. cost like, what, 40 bucks a month, I think? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Also, NYG is really nice and it's really big. So I'm really happy. I was really happy about that. And you have multiple uh, swimming pools. It's not just, you know, it's not just like tracks or equipment or yeah. things like that. It's nice to be in a pool sometimes. Yeah, so we also have um, an Indonesian Student Association in NYU. So if you're scared to go to, you know, the U.S., the States, I mean, New York is huge and you can join this community, obviously, to meet more Indonesians so you can be together. Um, does anybody actually was in this group and can you share your thoughts? I went to uh, a few of their meetings they always had uh, 
food, of course, um, and uh, yeah, I I I, I enjoyed. I think uh, uh, it's it's more uh, ma ma the majority of the uh, members are un undergrads um, uh, for the ISA. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I I know one of the president uh, before Ma Marco Marco Janio. I think Rosie knows him too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They attend a lot of events, and I think it's not only uh, like for Indonesian, but also for another student who's interested in the Indonesian culture and stuff like that. So it's always interesting when they help events and like uh, you know, not sometimes they I I I think like uh, in the second half of uh, my time at NYU, they held more events like uh, inviting some of the previous ministers who's visiting New York and doing uh, a lot of other things. Uh, so it was really uh, interesting for us to not only uh, meet friends, but also get a lot of updates and insights about what is happening and meet cool, really cool people from the groups. Yeah. It's really nice. Um, yes, if I'm not mistaken, I think Nelson is also a part of the ISA in his time when he's in New York. Okay, eating. I mean, yeah. definitely yeah. New York has yes. a lot of... <laughs> Does anybody want to share about the kind of food that, you know, you can get in New York? Okay, I miss New York pizza now, guys. I really <laughs> Because that's like when you go there and you just like street food, like, okay, obviously every city has street food, but I'll consider like pizza as one of my favorites, you know, and um, really inexpensive. And then everything else, you can get hot dogs and of course American food, but the size of the pizzas are just out of this world. If you come to Jakarta, there's a New York pizza now, Judy. I wonder who opened it up. Was it at NYU? <laughs> uh, they have a, yeah they sell new york type pizzas no. yeah they yeah. they actually sell new york type pizzas in jakarta now and there's a few places that recently opened up but if i can talk about like new york food i definitely like to go to halal guy i feel like that's yeah. so famous for indonesians especially like we indonesians we eat rice every single day for our meal so it's kind of like reminiscent of the food back home and i feel like every time i lined up at halal guys and they actually have one um in in lower east side somewhere there um but yeah i would definitely see a line of indonesian people just waiting yes to get the and food. i think uh, Audra, the most Pardon? Are you sure you want? Are you sure you you want to uh, spend uh, to talk about food in New York? I think our entire Zoom session can be about food in New York. If that's the <laughs> yeah. There's just so much to eat in New York. Yeah, that's so true. There's a lot of food from all over the world, and like, I just knew Asian food, maybe some like Western food, but when I was in New York, like, a lot of other things, and the options is really limitless. And when you live in NYU, it's always just like around the corner, just like two blocks away. You want to find like Peruvian food. You want to find like a lot of African foods just around the campus. It's just because NYU is like just in the middle of the city. It's really easy to get a lot of options when you want to try new things. Yeah. There's also always like new restaurants popping up. So it's not just uh, the same ones like uh, last year uh, at on NYU campus, um, they opened like a dry hot pot restaurant. So um, hot pot was all the craze, and then now there's like dry hot pot. Uh, it's just uh, it's just, uh, yeah, super fun to always try new things. Yeah, I mean definitely in NYU in New York we get a huge variety of food for all foodies out there. <laughs> There's that fur place by NYU. It's really cheap. It's only eight. Take on check. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the best one. That is really cheap. When you're a student, you're like, oh. That's true. I look at my account. Oh, no. What should I eat today? Oh, Saigon check. <laughs> There's a well, middle, middle, 
The other thing that I think is interesting is that um, there's always a function happening, whether it's a talk, you know, whether it's a, uh, a club has a talk, um, or if there is a guest speaker and there's like another talk, or if clubs are happening all around, there's so many different clubs. And uh, often they do like a, a food or cocktail or, or something every time there's a talk. So you could just actually meet people, um, share, you know, time in a relaxing setting and just over a coffee or food or snack or whatever it is or drinks, you know, there are a lot of uh, drinks events as well. So I think that um, the social aspects are just so varied as well, not just like having a variation of food, but I have to just share one thing. The first time I ever ate Indian food was near NYU. And that was another um, inexpensive option. At, at that time, because you could always have like the Indian buffets, eat a lot and rice based as well um, and spicy. So that was good. So, yeah, it's great to live in New York. Definitely the food. Um, we can definitely eat any kind of food you want, for sure. Okay. So then you were talking about Ajay, the um, diversity, right? So it's amazing. Sorry, Judy, I couldn't hear you. Sorry, I think, uh, right, then you, I interrupted you because you were talking about the cultural diversity, right? Yes, um, yeah, so along with food, I mean, in New York, we have various people. I think as soon as I reached New York, I was, I have more international friends than I did American friends. And that's what I found interesting interesting because I was in U.S. soil but a lot of my close friends in NYU are actually some of them from they're from Kazakhstan they're from Mexico they're from all around the world and it's so great to be a part of community that's so diverse in its culture and I think I do remember when I was in my program actually back in 2012 when I first started NYU I definitely felt like I was the only Indonesian in my program like all throughout all the undergrad I'm like literally the only Indonesian at that time to be in that program I know how about you guys yeah yeah um, I think there like was, uh, one... for, for my oh go ahead Neil uh, there was uh, one one other Indonesian uh, in my in my program at the time. Yeah, she was also a pianist, and um, she and her her husband is uh, from Australia, a guitarist. So they they both went to the same program. Uh, I think like what's yeah. also really great about NYU is um, it's not only the people you meet, but the school itself. Like they understand that culture and diversity is important. Uh, I think an easy example is like during my, in my program, um, in, our, in our junior year, everybody has to, they're, they're sent to uh, different countries. So for, for a week, for a week. So um, for my year, they had three options, uh, Hong Kong, uh, Peru, uh, Lima, Peru, or Denmark. Uh, so I think it was Copenhagen. Um, and so, um, you know, they, they did this like, you know, business course where we're studying about, uh, you know, foreign markets. And so uh, they told us to choose you know, out of these three, you know, I chose Hong Kong being kind of a safe choice, but I really wanted to go there with uh, some of my stern friends. But uh, a lot of my good friends also went to Lima. They, they, they learned more about South America. Uh, some of them went to Europe. And so uh, what they're... Uh, can all come from you know every different culture and every different market. So uh, I, I think NYU has like the right mindset about how they treat culture and diversity. Yeah. Yes, uh, I I'd like to add um, NYU is definitely very global in their mindset. Um, also, because what I remember when I was studying in NYU, I also did a year in Paris and their curriculum and their classes in Paris, the Paris campus is also really great. 
Um, also, my program offered this um, classes that are actually not in New York. So we did our class in pra Prague. We did our class in Berlin. Um, so it was it was great, and it was so good for somebody, especially in my program, which I did hotel and tourism, to understand more about culture diversity and about you know different cultures, different people. So it's really great that NYU um, has eased me into that. Well, I think it's amazing because um, we have 11 campuses, which is phenomenal when you think of it. And it's really cute because I remember um, when I was walking through um, and it was a tour for potential students as well as their parents. And there was a question that came out of the NYU tour and they'd say, can I actually spend my entire four years overseas? And it was really funny because the parents were like, wow, this is pretty amazing. You can have an opportunity to kind of orchestrate your schedule that as Andrea did, she spent quite an amount of time overseas, right? So in addition to that, I know that this year's uh, students who are going to start NYU um, or have started in the fall, um, a number of them are not starting at the New York City campus. Some are in the Shanghai um, campus, some are in the Abu Dhabi campus. So we really have people who are in um, really uh, different programs around the globe. Yeah, I think that's also one of the great thing about NYU. They have different campus everywhere, but everyone is so connected. So it's really great. Yeah, if you guys can see, this are all the schools within NYU and obviously NYU has a lot of schools. Um, yeah, and these are some of the professors. This is what people I feel like um, always talk about when they are considering if they want to go to NYU or not. Definitely the alumni network. Um, I mean, right now we're having our alumni network here in Indonesia and it's growing and it's really good. So if you guys obviously want to go, uh, go to NYU, definitely join our group and our community. Um, we help each other a lot here. Uh, does anyone want to comment about our alum, great alumni network? I think the yeah. alumni are so large. Uh, I just, my personal comment on, I think at NYU alumni is so large, I have yet to tap into enough of it, right? It's about being able to reach out. And we have a lot of new tools that NYU has put in just for um, the prospective students to know about that we've actually developed a new platform for NYU for our connectivity across all NYU alums, as well as um, for myself, Stern alums. So we've got, and in Asia itself, we have 18 uh, thousand alumni in Asia only, so, um, and growing. Yeah, from the, the, the topic before, I uh, just wanted to say that uh, in the music department, you have the option to take some classes in yeah, also in Paris and in, in Prague. Uh, so that's, yeah, if you if you want to do that, you can. And I think what's really interesting about the alumni network is when I get back uh, because I decided that uh, after school I would go back to Indonesia and uh, start my career again here. Uh, the alumni network kind of helps me to connect with a lot of people that I'm interested in because I'm shifting careers, I'm restarting and I'm uh, trying to do new things and funny enough the one who uh, recruited me was also an NYU alum so it is really really helpful definitely the alumni network that we have right now I think. Yeah. And I, and I think what we'll see over time is like in, in the very near future, uh, this alumni network grows stronger, uh, particularly in Asia uh, and also in Indo. Um, if some of you, some of you heard from like news or, or rankings, maybe like the rate of applications, uh, how many applications that NYU is getting is 
you know, always increasing every year. Like they're breaking their own record every single year. Um, and so what this means is that uh, on the street, you'll see more and more NYU alums. Um, and those who are older are definitely, you know, based on my own experience, I've also started, uh, I'm a recent grad, but I've uh, just started, you know, talking to more and more alums and trying to uh, kind of, you know, get some advice from them. And they're all very, very open. You know, they're all very, Uh, so, uh, you're, you're, you know, opening a lot of doors if you get into NYU, uh, you know, by co connecting yourself with all these people. Thank you for that. Yes, definitely. NYU has a really good network channel and for those of you who are thinking to go to NYU and to graduate from there, I mean, even from the faculty themselves, they really help you out in whatever you want to do. Like, for example, you already have a career set in mind. Um, definitely the faculty will help you to reach to that goal and all of the alumni network that you can talk to. And there are plenty of them in their respective fields. That's really great. Great. and they're all very nice so that's what I really love about NYU um, yeah so this is just like some of the tips for those of you who wants to enter university try not to skip class <laughs> uh, that's really funny yeah um, for sure it's coping with the homesick feeling that's I think that's one of the most important thing that's why you know, we talked about the food and the culture diversity um, and definitely New York is a great place for that because you can eat everything. Also, I don't know if any of you guys know, but do you know that behind Bob's, they used to have an Indonesian cafe? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Coffee, coffee, is it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they moved to 14th Street now. Oh, they do? Oh. It's just around the corner also, right? It's in the 14th Street. It's just like yeah. two, two yeah, three blocks like, away from yeah, campus. Yeah. But it was so close. It was like right behind both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was yeah. the most expensive tahu goreng I ate in my life, I think. <laughs> the, uh, Word of the home sick, yeah. <laughs> The part to... Uh, to get, get to know your professor outside of class. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's good if you can can do it. Uh, I because uh, they they can they can be more relaxed. I think I, I didn't I didn't do it too uh, too much this uh, this last time. But they a few of my professors invited me to to hear them play at at different clubs, and and I uh, I was uh, I, I I didn't I didn't go this last time. But I think. Uh, that that will be a good chance to get get to know them better because if if you're in class with them sometimes it's only sixty minutes and uh, there's not enough time to you know to talk about more things so if you can get to know your professor outside of class that that would be would be a good thing yeah and I think like uh, what Mas Neil just said and what Audrey mentioned about. Uh, how the professor and the faculty is kind of wanting to help you to uh, achieve what you want to do. Like, uh, it's very true. Uh, a lot of my faculties and my professors, uh, specific, they helped me to land some of the internship when I was there, helped me navigate through how to network uh, back in the day. And even when I was home, like, they connect me with some of the resources that I didn't know existed and available for me. Uh, and they kind of just helped me until uh, until today. I think I still keep contact with a lot of them, and they uh, still, you know, just just around the corner when you need them to uh, point directions, discuss stuff, and uh, you know, get you connected to a lot of things that uh, you want to. Yeah, that's really true. Office hours. I like the learn how to manage your money bet. Uh, New York certainly has an ability to make you part of your hard-earned money. True. 
<laughs> That's true. But actually, if I can share a little bit, I, even though we're not allowed to work, but I was actually, I got a lot of jobs as a babysitter and they pay mm-hmm. really nicely. I mean, they pay me $30 an hour and they also give me money to go back home if they live far away. Because sometimes they would like, end up going home after midnight and they're like oh it's so bad for a young woman to go back to the subway by themselves and they gave me extra 30 for the cab fare and i'm just like oh it's so nice because i can just take the subway for a dollar or something (laughs) and give the 30 to myself but yeah definitely it's nice being in manhattan and getting jobs like that how how are you able to to get those uh jobs audrey um yeah, so actually a couple of my friends, they they are, so they babysit a lot in New oh. York. And even though I'm foreigner, uh, usually they don't accept foreigners. But since I speak English fluently anyway, so I felt like they felt fine. And I'm actually the eldest of five kids. So I knew how to take care of a child. <laughs> I know how to change diapers and everything. So yeah. That's how I go. I get those jobs. Nice. Yeah. I think if I may add, the but yeah, it's bit, really important. The interning bit is really important. It's the most underrated thing ever, I guess, with NYU or like with, I guess, m- maybe my experience is a bit different. And I'm I'm a master student. Maybe Niall and Rosie can will echo what I say. I guess when you're a master student, you get out what you put in. So like, if you need help, but you need help your professor, you want them to connect you to someone they know via LinkedIn or whatever, all you need to do is ask. Like you don't expect that it comes straight to you. If you don't ask, the guy probably doesn't know that you need help anyways. And if you just ask since you're a student, you're like, it's expected that you ask. The most that your professor is like said, uh, yeah, no, sorry, I can't. Uh, I don't know that guy anymore. But most of the time they're like, Yep, happy happy to make an introductory email. They'll probably CC on the email here. Yeah. This is one of my be- uh, this one of my students, James. He's interested in this. Hope that you guys have a great chat. So then afterwards, you that probably I guess that's the most important thing. You manage to get like thirty minutes of the guy's time so to learn about him and for him to learn about you. I guess that's how most jobs come by in New York. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very true. Uh, yeah, we have the uh, yeah connections are are uh, everything. I guess it's who, who you know and uh, yeah. I got the, my my teacher uh, recommended me to teach um, one of his students because uh, he was not available. So I I ended up teaching him uh, uh, just just for a month. But yeah, things things like that or or they can yeah recommend you for for gigs. And when when they cannot do it, yeah. and one, uh, I have one uh, other Wagner alum that was in the same cohort as me. Uh, she's a different. She has different uh, concentration, and we actually did a project on the Indonesian election. And our faculty helped us to uh, get the project started, get the funding, and get us connected to a lot of people that we didn't think that we would be able to interview. So it was a really great experience. Was like for professionally, for you to, uh, you know, uh, get connected to the professional world, but also personally, if you want to grow or learn something new, they're also like a great way for you to explore some of those opportunities. And especially I think for master's student, like every single person in your class is doing internship uh, somewhere else. So uh, having and lending an internship in New York can be uh, somewhat difficult if we, you don't know how the recruitment works, who to contact, uh, how to make referrals, things like that. So the professor and faculty just uh, very great uh, resources for you to come and at least ask, uh, just uh, ask what James mentioned, like, it was really helpful for me personally to navigate through New York. Yeah, 
Um, I personally would like to ask something. In SPS, they do this thing where it's kind of like a fair, but a job fair. Um, so it's, it, was, it was really good because I feel like the concentration in SPS is very niche. Like in for, my, for the undergrad, we had hotels, we had tourism, we had sports management. So it was good to be getting the kind of job that is actually concentrated to what your major is. Because sometimes if you go to a re regular job fair for somebody who has a very niche major like I did, it was kind of hard because you're like, oh, they're looking just for a, um, a manager in like somewhere. But I guess if you go to the job fairs that your schools actually made, and then it can be like the right job fit or the right kind of like internship that you want to get for your experience yeah so um does anybody want to comment again on nyu and or if there's some questions i'm trying to work out how Anybody? Uh, I think one of, well, yeah. You go first, Mr. No, um, I, was, yeah, I was just wondering that, well, the, the food, the, uh, were any of you guys in the, in the uh, did you guys join the, the meal plan at all? And were, was that a, did you, how did you, did you uh, like, that um, how did you feel about that the... oh I mean I, I did the meal plan right first my first year when I was dorming uh, I think it's like any other meal plan in the states like uh, I would describe it as efficient like you can <laughs> if you ever need food you can get it but um, uh, to be honest like it's not the, the taste is like just like any other dorm food um, definitely the food that you find on the streets, like, uh, you guys mentioned halal earlier or, uh, like some favorites are like K-Town. I'm pretty sure everybody here has been to Koreatown. I think New York has one of the best Koreatowns. Um, and, you know, Western food, you can go find it anywhere, uh, you know, a uh, little Italy. Um, but in terms of dorm food, I, you don't, uh whether it be in your own dorm food uh, in your own dorm or in your uh your class buildings yeah yeah and uh is it uh does it end up uh pr price wise is it uh, end up being the same uh whether you do the meal plan or or not I, well, I, I think uh, I think they have a bit of a premium because of the accessibility accessibility to the to the to the dining hall food. Um, so I think it's up to you. Like I know people who still keep on using dining hall food, even I mean have a dining hall meal plans, even up to their junior or senior year. Um, and some people just get off it right away. It depends on if you like to cook, uh, what your food preferences are. Um, one thing I can say is it's like. Uh, NYU definitely has interesting uh, dining halls. Uh, for example, I know the one on uh, Lipton, Lipton Hall, uh, the dorm, it's all vegan uh, mm. or vegetarian. Uh, I had one of those. So there's definitely, and then I think there's like a kosher one too for uh, those who, who are looking for that. So then like, I, I think they have a good option. Uh, they have definitely good options. So yeah, it depends on what you like. Yeah, I I, uh, I was going to join uh, one of those meal plans, but I did I didn't end up uh, doing it. Yeah, I think the meal plans are really good for accessibility because a lot of NYU's dining hall is actually within campus and within reach, so it's kind of like you don't have to think about where you want to um, eat. But I I did I feel like I did the calculations and it kind of like turned out to be more expensive to be on the meal plans than not. Yeah. So in the end, I stopped. I think I stopped in sophomore year. 
So do we have any last questions or last remarks from anybody? Oh. I, I think a lot of the, uh, at least for me, uh, one of my biggest fears back in the day before I started at NYU is, am I going to fit in? Uh, what about uh, when I miss home? But uh new york is kind of a like that one place that you everyone kind of feel that they didn't fit in but they fit kind of like also fit in and it kind of grows on you anyway so new york is very uh interesting place and nyu is uh kind of in the heart of it and i couldn't be more happier that i choose to go to nyu and if you're missing home there's a lot of uh things that you can do. Uh, if you miss food, you can just go to Queens or there's a lot of places that have good Indonesian food and there's a lot of Indonesian people. It Maybe it's not as big as Seattle in terms of community and things like that, but I think you can always find friends and a sense of community when you're missing home or wanna like uh, meet people that you uh, feel uh, close with, things like that. So. It's really uh, an interesting experience for me to go to NYU and learn a lot of things in just two years. So definitely something that I uh, recommend for people to try at least, yeah. Yeah, the uh, Kimmel, the Kimmel Center, I uh, spent a lot of time there. I, I, I like that building and a lot of uh, spaces to, to relax and they have some piano rooms there too. and. So nice place. Actually, I just remember um, if you, if you, one of you guys, you really like to see Broadway or musical or even, you know, anything, uh, NYU give student discounts to that. And it's like way cheaper than the actual ticket price. So I, I, bought, I bought those tickets a lot. I watch a lot of uh, musicals and I watch a lot of like, things on Broadway. It was so nice. It was so great. Yeah. The, the ticket box is, is uh, in the uh, Kimmel building, right? Down, down yes. there? Yeah. 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 It is. yeah. Okay. Well, so I don't think we have um, any other questions. Um, if we can, if you want to discuss anything, you can contact us and WhatsApp us. Um, in the screen right now. So if you just shoot through that screen, you can see the scan the QR code and you can talk to us in WhatsApp. We also have our Facebook, NYU Alumni Club in Indonesia. You can contact us, talk to us, anything you desire. If you have questions about NYU, if you want our help in anything, you can let us know. Um, and thank you so much for everybody who joined this webinar today. And thank you for our panelists. Thank you everyone for talking about NYU and discussing our life there. I'm kind of reminiscing now. <laughs>